In this screencast, I'm going to show you what you have to do to set up your 40 book challenge using Google Forms. So when you have a Google account, what you'll do is you'll get into your drive and then you're going to press new, more, and Google Forms. And this is going to bring up a generic form. You can customize this later, but just to show you, we're going to start here with the title. Okay, and then my, um, you can add in a form description if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and add in my first question. So each question is going to go into a separate section. So I'll enter the question and then a section. So my first question is going to be, who is your teacher? And I'm going to make this a choose from a drop down box. And then I'm just going to type in my names. Okay. I'm going to make this a required question. And then where this dot, dot, dot is, that's going to uh, go to a section based on answer. So that's going to put a little drop down box menu here where later on I can come back in and fill in where the students should be going based on the answer that they've selected. Okay, so that's my first section. Now I have to hit these two e this equal sign down here and I'm going to add a section. And I'm going to name this section the teacher's name and that's going to help me out later. So here's the teacher's name added. Now I'm going to press the plus sign to add a question and this is going to be about the student's name. And this too is going to be a drop down. And then I just add in names, whoever my names are. Okay, that's going to be a required question. And then I'm going to use these equal sign here again to add in another section and that's going to be my brown and I'm going to press the plus sign to add a question. My question is going to be about the student's name. Okay, so there are my, my names of my students and all of my teachers. All of that has been entered. And I've made sure that all of my questions here are required, so nothing is getting skipped over. And now it's time to add in my final section, which is going to be about the book. So here I am down at my last question. I'm going to add in a new section, and this is going to be book information. Now on your book information, add as many questions as you want just for the information that you want to collect. So here I'm going to do, of course, book title and make that a short answer and then author and then I might you know say how did that book rank on a scale of one to ten or write a little sentence about the book or something like that and I'm going to make that required and this will be my last question so this question will just have them submit all right so now I have everything in that I need to have in so I'm going to go back up to the top and this is where I'm going to assign students where to go based on their answer. So if I click back into the question box, you'll see this little drop down menu that says continue to the next section. Well, I don't want them to continue to the next section. I want them, if they said that they're in Miss Smith's class, to go to Miss Smith's class. So I'm going to choose go to section two, Smith. That's why I added the name of the teacher because it puts it in parentheses and it makes it a bit easier for me to find it. Okay, now this person would go to Brown. All right. Now, um, once they get to their teachers, they are going to not continue to the next section, but after this section, they are going to continue to the book information. If I left it at continue to the next section, when they finish answering their name, they're going to end up in Brown's class, and I don't want them there. So I have to go through and do that for each of the classes. I have to just choose that once they're finished, they go to section four here book information. So here's book information. And when they're finished with that, they will be able to just submit it. So if I want to see the live form, I can do preview. All right, who is your teacher? Mrs. Smith. Then I press next. And then, oh, I get to choose my name. And then next. And then I can enter the information. And then there's my submit button, and that's going to submit my response. I can choose to submit another response or have that be the end. If I come back to my form, I will see here that I have one response. 
I can open up and I can see the little data chart on that. So that's how you create your form and that's how your students will use it.